Paul Reed. I'm fighting at VT Jiu Jitsu and GMP MMA. Tonight I'm fighting Emmanuel Fernandez. Um, he's a very good BJJ guy. The last fight I had was against the BJJ Black Belt, so hopefully it'll go the same way. I'd like to thank Italo back in Bristol for all the BJJ he's been doing with me, and I'd like to thank Lee and uh, my sparring partners Greg and Mikey the Screamer Porsche. Hello, my name is Emmanuel Fernandez, champion of the HIFX3. Um, I, I live in Cognac, France. Uh, my team, Team Fernandez, my sponsor, Vanga. Uh, my opponent last night, um, Paul Reed. Uh, Paul, you want my belt? It's not possible. I like this belt. It's for me. Okay? Good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening for the FX3 Featherweight Championship of the World. And the first fighter to enter the octagon into the right corner, let's hear it for Paul Arie. Entering into the blue corner. Let's hear it for Emmanuel Fernandez. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce these world title fighters properly. The fighter standing to my right in the red corner. He hails from Bristol. He's 36 years old. Stands by feet 8 inches tall and weighed in at 65.8 kilos. He fights for GMP, MMA, and Jiu Jitsu. He has a perfect mixed martial arts record of seven contests and seven wins. He is the challenger, Paul Reed. And his opponent, the fighter standing to my left in the blue corner. He hails from France. He's 36 years old. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighed in at 65.8 kilos. He fights for Team Fernandez and has a mixed martial arts record of 14 contests, 8 wins, 4 losses and 2 draws. He is the FX3 featherweight champion of the world, Emmanuel Pai Pirates. This world title contest is fought over three five minute rounds and is sponsored by Moorland. Okay, Mark God, I've called uh, both our title fighters here to the middle of the cage for our main event. Uh, Paul Reed, challenger in the black shorts. Champion Emmanuel Fernandez in the red shorts. 
We're joined here at uh, Cape Side by Brad Pickett, who uh, will be watching this fight quite closely, I'd imagine, after his win earlier. Very much so, very much so. And um, Mark Goddard, just giving the instructions now. This is an epic clash, it really is. Uh, Paul Reed, 7-0, unbeaten, uh, phenomenal record. Cutting down to 65.8 for the first time. Fighting Emmanuel Fernandez, he's been there, he's done that. Rob, this is going to be very interesting indeed. I've got to be honest with you, mate, looking at the stature of both fights as they come together, Paul Reed looks very, very big for the, the size. Yeah, first time at featherweight. Um, Fernandez, you know, you could argue he's quite a light featherweight, but Fernandez fought in Japan, he's fought in Europe. Um, former Cage Warriors champion, um, top 10 in Europe at the weight. Um, you know, he beat Alex Owen last time out at FX3. It's going to be really interesting to see how this goes. Whereas Paul Reed, trained by Lee Remedius, um, who Fernandez has beaten once and drawn again. So, lots of interesting uh, subplots to this fight as well. Reed just using that jab, keeping Fernandez at bay. Fernandez will look to shoot from this position, won't he? Yeah, but Fernandez is uh, more well rounded than that as well. You know, Fernandez. Uh, very strong grip, good judo, um, and he can strike a little bit, not maybe as good as his brother, but um, I don't think he'd want to take it to ground necessarily too quickly, I say, as he shoots. But uh, Paul Reed is very strong on top, Fernandez shoots. Reed is very, very strong in this position. Watch Reed to try and out-wrestle Fernandez um, and work his top game. He's, uh, he really is a lot like his mentor, Lee Remedius. That's what makes this fight so interesting. Reed trying to turn it to Grant. Fernandez doing a good job of just keeping him at bay. Somebody bleeding slightly, I believe it's Fernandez. A bloody but nose, possibly. But that's clash of heads there, or, or not, but Fernandez, yeah, he's been through the nose. Smeared over his face. I think it looks a lot worse than it actually is, but it's only going to give Reed confidence as his fans chant behind us. Both guys share a jab. Fernandez starts to work the leg kick. Firing it low. Both no guys with a lot of respect at the moment. Mate. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, both ground specialists. You know, uh, Remedius as well. No doubt has drummed into uh, Paul Reed the dangers of fighting this man from France. You know, you don't become a champion in two uh, in two uh, different uh, shows by not having the skills. Good work by Fernandez, just firing in little uppercuts. Reed looks to fire in a big knee. Fernandez looking for the trip to take Dan. Changes position. Fernandez now looking the clinch. Watch Fernandez maybe to try a, a judo throw from this position. He showed in his last fight against Alex Owen um, just how strong he is from this position. Uh, really surprised a lot of people when he uh, when he claimed the title off Owen. But in all fairness, mate, he's, he's against a bigger opponent in Reed today. Yeah. Yeah, and possibly a stronger opponent as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, Reed, Reed really is looking big. He, he's got to be over 70 kilos here at fight time. Good jab from Fernandez. Yeah, I've just been told here by Brad Pickett, 72 kilos. I mean, that's huge. And Fernandez probably isn't weighing much more than what he weighed in at. And uh, very patient, methodical game here played by both, by both men. As you would expect, Rob, really, from two esteemed grapplers. Fernandez looking to score with a jab, sticking and moving, bit of head movement. Neither man too eager to dive down to ground yet though, mate. No, no, I mean, uh, well that's a good jab there by Reed. Fernandez, like I said, I think both men have got more skills than what people give them credit for, but just because you're a ground specialist doesn't mean you can strike nowadays, you know? And I, and I think it's the, the, um, the same goes with strikers. You have to be um, cross-trained now, Rob. That's right, well-rounded fighters do tend to do a lot better, having a bit of striking, a bit of wrestling, a yeah, bit I mean, of judo, a bit of taekwondo. Yeah, I mean, Fernandez a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. When he came onto the scene, you know, he was purely a Jiu-Jitsu guy, and then he racked up five wins in a row. Oh, good catch there by, um, by Reed, but nothing comes of it. Unable to capitalise as he catches the leg of Fernandez. Yeah. But I don't think Fernandez being two-faced. I mean, you know, you look at the guys he's fought, Remedius, Danny Button, um, Luciano Azevedo, uh, you know, he, like I said, he's fought in Japan. His experience might show in this fight, even though both guys are from the same age. Uh, same age. Fernandez definitely mixed it in there with better opposition. But, um, but likes fighters early on in the card. Uh, Reed's worked his way up from amateur to pro. Done it the right way. Well, Reed also holding a perfect professional record of 7-0-0. Oh, oh. 
Yep, some very good wins on FX3 as well from that. Fernandez looking to fire short shots in from tight. And there's the Gets judo. The judo throw, moves straight in for the kill with a guillotine. Wraps his opponent up, transition to triangle. Beautiful work. Beautiful, Fantastic. beautiful work. Masterful grappling by Fernandez. Some good elbows there as well. Reed in trouble, trying to move that arm across. Saved by the bell. Yep, Brad Pickett sitting next to me, saying time. He, he saw it, the fighter's eye. Um, and uh, Fernandez could have only been seconds then from taking the fight. Great first round. Mark Goddard calling both men to start round two. I wonder if Reed now will come out of a second wind after being in a horrible position at the end. We'll see how it goes. Round two starts. I'm sure Fernandez will have renewed confidence finishing the round on a high. Both men circling, sorry. Will he be able to continue this round the same, do you think? Yeah. I think so. Oh, Fernandez goes to the leg kick, gets caught, gets taken down, slipped. Fernandez has got cardio. He really is a cardio machine. He can, he can go three rounds, he can go five rounds. Um, oh, good, good trade there. Reed throwing the leg kick. Fernandez returning with a punch. It's fantastic to watch grapplers like this. Two well rounded fighters duking it out. Uh, you know, title at stake, FX3 title. You know, uh, a title known around Europe. Reed looking for the hook. Fernandez retaliates with a left and a right and a high kick that connects. Wow. I Beautiful. Mean, yeah. This is MMA, you know, this is this is what these guys can do. Very, very quick high kick that one. Fernandez there going in with a a right and a right kick. Reed's leg buckled there. His yeah. left leg is hurting. He's, he's dropped uh, it backwards. He switched, yeah, he switched stance now, hasn't he? Dropped it back to defend it. Or oh, an inside leg kick there by Fernandez. Fernandez just chopping away at the legs of Reed, and you can see the bruising from our position. Yeah, it's looking horrendous there, Rob. It's got to be playing on Reed's mind. And you can see his leg almost giving away there as well as he moves back. He's, le he's leaving his lead leg out. Oh, Fernandez big hits right him with a big hand. He goes to the right floor. Hand. Reed in trouble as Fernandez looks for the guillotine yep. choke. Jumps to guard, Reed pops his head free. Great work by Reed. Reed pushed back great to his down. feet by Fernandez. Fernandez back on top position. Showing this, great vigour there. This fight's too fast for us to even keep up with. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is this is what all the ground game's all about for me. You know, uh, MMA purists. This is this is our fight, Rob. Really. Oh, great elbows there by Fernandez. Controlling position from half guard, Fernandez. Reed won't want to be on his back here, but Fernandez, look at him. He, you know, he's settled, um, showing confidence, showing his experience. Like I said, you know, he really has fought some high-class opponents. Not to take anything away from Reed, who's seven and zero, but um, you know, sometimes experience counts. And oh. Fernandez firing big left hands. Reed just weathering the storm. Doesn't look in too much trouble though, Ian. Yeah, I mean, Reed immensely strong. Oh, Fernandez, those traps his arm here. Could be big trouble for Reed. Fernandez traps not only one arm but two arms. Reed does a good job, gets his arm free, pushes his base back. Fernandez trying to pass guard and does so. Fernandez in sublime form here. Great work by Fernandez. Man position. Oh, ground and pound there by Fernandez. He's got to watch that out, though. One was nearly there to the back of the head. Mark Goddard watching over. Firing in big shots, looking for that rear naked choke. He sinks one arm almost in, doesn't quite get it. Oh, some good good kicks there. Heel kicks just on the midsection. Goes in with the hooks, looks to work the choke. Fernandez sticking to the back of Reed. Reed pulling the arms away, trying to stop the choke from going in. Yeah, this will be, you know, Fernand um, Reed, you know, Fernandez has sent it in, it's a tap, uh, yeah, it's he's all tapping. over. Great positioning, great work, and um, a great performance by Emmanuel Fernandez. He uh, retains his title, and although Paul Reed looks frustrated, you know, he shouldn't, you know, he did do well there.
and um, he might have lost his unbeaten record, but I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of this man, Paul Reid. Definitely, great fight, great win by Emmanuel Fernandez. Beautiful transition from positions as he worked his way to the rear naked choke. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes and 37 seconds of round two, your winner, due to a tap out by rear naked choke, and still the FX3 featherweight champion of the world, Emmanuel Pagetis Fernandez. And let's have a round of applause for a very gallant challenger. Let's do it for Paul Reed. Let's have a big round of applause as well for Rob from Williams presenting the trophy. And to all those at home or watching the DVD, thank you very much for joining us and we'll hope you join us next time. Good night and God bless.